if we observe another race taking over the cosmos. The day mankind discovers intelligent alien life out there in the universe will certainly be a momentous occasion. But how we react depends entirely on what they're doing when we come to observe them. Are these people benign and friendly? Perhaps they're in the process of seeding other worlds. Or what if we find an extraterrestrial civilization only to realize we've caught them in the process of colonizing the galaxy? How would we react? What would this mean for us? And would our detection of them mean that they too have detected our presence? Let's try and answer these questions and more by investigating what we would do if we observe another race taking over the cosmos. Number 3. The First Dr. Stephen J. Olson is a member of Boise State University's Department of Physics, and in his paper, Long-Term Implications of Observing an Expanding Cosmological Civilization, he asserts that large, expansionistic alien races are far more likely to be observed than isolated, average civilizations. He bases this assumption on the fact that the technology mankind possesses at present limits us to observing only those civilizations who are capable of making a huge impact on a galactic scale. It's like trying to find your car late at night after a show. If everything is dark, it's going to be hard to find your ride home. Unless your car is on fire, in which case it'll be super easy. If an alien civilization is on the same level we are, we can't ever hope to contact them since both of our communication methods would be equally limited in range. However, if a Kardashev 2 or 3 civilization exists out there in the universe, we are far more likely to be able to observe them since a civilization at this level is able to manipulate one or more stars. We can see the stars easily, and we can therefore detect if anyone is fiddling around with them. This is something we may have witnessed already, with the bizarre flickerings of Tabby's star yet to be fully explained. They could be caused by simple cosmological phenomena, or the star may be acting weird because an advanced race of beings is building a giant sphere around it. We just don't know. What we do know is that it's almost certain that the first extraterrestrial civilization we discover will be better than us. We will witness their grand projects from afar in equal parts wonderment and fear. And when we do, we'll have to ask ourselves a series of serious questions. Are they attempting to conquer the galaxy? Are they coming for us? And do they know we're here? Number two, it's probably robots. If an alien race has reached a point where interstellar travel is within their capabilities, then it is also assumed they will also have developed a highly refined form of artificial intelligence to work in conjunction with them. Such a creation is thought necessary to facilitate travel between the stars, since the speeds and maneuvers required would be far too great for human beings to handle. We crash thousands of cars at 30 miles per hour on a daily basis. Do you really think we can be trusted hurtling through space at a fraction of light speed? No. We definitely cannot. So the presence of a super-intelligent AI is therefore taken as a given should we discover another intelligent race at work out there in the galaxy. This is especially true if said civilization is intent on colonizing their corner of the cosmos, since the mining or terraforming of far-flung worlds would be a huge feat of engineering requiring a lot of raw material. Unless an AI were programmed to avoid such behavior, it would almost certainly be directed to seek out resources to fulfill these objectives. The question is, do we have what they need? And if so, are they coming to take it? The presence of AI poses us an even greater threat than if we'd only discovered a race of aliens. Artificial intelligence is a danger to any civilization which wields it and indeed any life forms it makes contact with, because it could easily get out of hand should it be imbued with too much power, authority, or self-learning capability. Eventually, 
any civilization armed with an artificial intelligence should reach something called the technological singularity, whereby runaway growth of intelligence and improvement has been initiated through the creation of a being with limitless potential. Based on this prediction, if we were to discover a cannibalistic presence in the cosmos which is gobbling up resources, it is more likely that we've stumbled upon a rogue AI force than we have a greedy, expansionist alien empire. Because of this, Dr. Olson claims that the accidents involving poorly designed artificial superintelligence should be responsible for some of the largest observable phenomena in the universe. If anything funky is going on that we can't explain away using naturally occurring forces, it is wiser for us to assume that a hyper-intelligent artificial being is therefore behind it. Number 1. Can they reach us? If a race of biological or inorganic beings is able to travel between stars or galaxies, it's a pretty safe bet they know we exist, they know where we are, and they've probably got a pretty good handle on what our species is capable of. Living things give off certain biosignatures in the form of gases which are observable in the atmosphere of a planet. In turn, these biosignatures can help you determine the nature of any living things on said world. At the very least, alien viewers of our planet would know that our pale blue dot is alive. And if they were sufficiently advanced, it's likely they'd have even more refined technologies which were able to analyze our impact on our own solar system and judge us on our capabilities. But the more pressing question is do they consider us an obstacle? And if so, can they reach us? Dr. Olson's paper focuses heavily on the latter part of this question, with the physicist investigating a series of factors which would determine how influential an imperialistic civilization could be, depending on when and where we detect them. The speed of light has the biggest impact on this, because if we were to categorically identify a civilization's presence a million light years away, the constraints of physics mean they would pose no threat to us. Unless such a civilization has discovered faster than light travel via wormholes, space time manipulation, or some other means, we can draw boundaries for not only the limits of another expansionist civilization, but the limits of our own ambitions too. If we wanted to, we could draw a map of the universe right now and draw circles radiating out from every known star to estimate the maximum possible sphere of influence an inhabitant civilization would enjoy. Ours would be small initially, growing large as technology improves, but it's likely there is an upper limit at some point. Even so, it has been calculated by Dr. Olson that our own sphere of influence would be severely impacted should a more technologically able civilization be discovered within our neck of the woods. And even more so if we detected multiple advanced civilizations in close vicinity. Depending on the point of expansion the observed civilizations were at, humanity could be rendered impotent by the rapid expansion of another race, forced to watch from the sidelines as they swallow up planet after planet, star after star with any attempts by our own civilization reduced to a game of catch-up. That's if we decide to bother with cosmic imperialism at all, because if we were to witness an advanced race colonizing either our galaxy or a faraway one, would we seek to ape them, or leave them to it? And is there a risk that by attempting to mimic our distant cousins, who have probably reached the technological singularity, we would incur their wrath? and facilitate our own destruction. We're going to attempt to answer this in our bonus video, Does the Technological Singularity Threaten the Universe? Which you can watch in our Patreon page at patreon.com slash strange mysteries. For a $2 a month pledge which you can cancel at any time, you'll get to watch this and all of our bonus content which goes deeper and darker into any topic than YouTube allows. If you don't want to donate, then... Bullshit. We know you wanted more. Strange mysteries on YouTube and our Patreon bonus videos weren't enough to quench your search for truth. To give you that sense of awe and wonder again. To go past what you thought was the end. To give you the answers you seek, but which only lead to more questions. That's why we just up the stakes. 
chemicals of reality. Reality, consciousness, brains. What else is there? Ask yourself that question. Perhaps that's all there really is, but perhaps everything else is found within a place where these ideas, these things, overlap. Some thing, some place that is undefinable. To many people, altering certain chemicals in their brains produces what they would simply call hallucinations. In fact, what we're going to discuss specifically used to be called the businessman's trip, as one could enjoy it. Come down and put your pants back on in the time it takes to eat lunch. It wasn't taken seriously. Well, unless, of course, you started digging. And some people, including us, did. Already, though, to many people, this chemical is special amongst others. Very special. To them, it represents something more meaningful and incredible, as if it's the gateway to the next level of consciousness. The ticket to a higher reality barely explored by most humans. It is the entry point to a new reality visited by only a select few whose minds have become enlightened through the use of this exotic substance. For this reason, it's commonly referred to as the spirit molecule. But is its reputation as a mystical mind opener deserved? Or is it and everything it represents just a load of bullshit? We look at, investigate, and dive deeply into nearly all available research regarding this question from nearly every angle feasible. And in the course of doing so, stumble upon unexplainable patterns, correlations, and neurological evidence for a reality existing beyond this one. Watch this hour-long Strange Mysteries premium video, Chemicals of Reality, as well as many more to come by becoming an elite premium member of our Patreon at patreon.com slash strange mysteries.